Good morning. Uh, this is this will be interesting. You guys will have to tell me how this sounds. This is new microphone uh, mounted right in front of the steering wheel. Uh, yeah. So good morning. It is Monday morning, January twentieth, and uh, I'm on my way to work. Thought we'd kick off another episode of the Everyday Commute. And what do you guys think about that? Like every day, but I'm not gonna do it every day. I don't know. Is that weird? I don't know. I don't know. It fits. Um, anyways, hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, I did. It was busy. We did a lot, but we didn't. We also had kind of a lazy weekend. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, but we got. We got some stuff done around the house, got the crib put together in the nursery, so it's really coming together now. I'm trying to think if we did anything else like super exciting. I don't think we did. Of course, I got, you know, a new microphone for the podcast and stuff like that. I don't have <clears throat> any kind of dead cat or... or, or microphone cover on it. This is just straight open mic because I thought uh, there's no wind where it's mounted so we'll see how it sounds and I hope I mounted it well enough to reduce some of the vibration from the road so that it's again a little clearer. Uh, The goal here is you know maximum quality minimum minimal effort and uh, I think so far I've done a good job of that. I feel like I got something in my eye. It's driving me nuts. Um, anyways, so yeah, let's talk about what's going on. Um, I'm very excited to announce that my custom 84 millimeter Swiss Army knife from Brass Works is going to be headed my direction soon. John put out a batch of them uh, recently, and and it was just coincidence that. I talked about them in, like, the last episode of this, or or the one before it, um, where, you know, I was saying there's not enough 84s out there, and I've been bugging him forever to make an 84, and, um, he finally did, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked to get my hands on that, and I know that he only made, he made a pretty small batch, so it's, it's exciting to see that, that, that small batch was successful, um, I mean, they're not, they're not inexpensive, and, you know, he, and again, he only made, I don't know, six, I think, I can't remember, but for them to do well, hopefully he's going to make more and continue to do it, and and again, the 84 millimeter Swiss Army knife lover in me uh, gets, uh, you know, to see a few more on the, on the market, so, um, that happened, uh, anything else interesting, Ben Banters put out a new knife with Wii Knives, I forget what he called it, um, but it's, it's, it looks pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'll probably pick one up, I don't love that it's a liner lock, um, there's some liner locks that I've had that are great, and, uh, you know, they're, they carry fine, and, and then there's some where I'm just not a huge fan um, of the execution and whether that's terrible jimping or, you know, super early or super late lockup or, you know, whatever it is. So we'll see. But that was pretty cool to see. I, I like I like that he's gone, you know, from being the what's up guys Ben to, you know, he, he did the knife poster, which I have in my office. Absolutely love it. And now he's got a knife. I mean, and it's a 2.9 inch blade, which I love. Anything sub three, I'm I'm usually a fan of. And I think it's S35 VN um, and caged bearings. So it and it G10 handles. So I mean, I can I, I'm fine with G10, but you know the the aesthetics of it are very simple, which I like. Um, thank you for not doing anything gimmicky or over the top. I mean, it's pretty much just as straightforward. It looks like it's going to be a really good slicer. So I'll probably pick one up. 
if you guys want me to pick one up, you want to know what I think of it when they launch, let me know, and I'll, I'll try to get my hands on one. Um, other than that, not a lot of exciting news. I'm creeping up on 3,000 followers, which is not huge to some. To me, it's a huge deal. I mean, that's just insane. And the more the page grows and the more the the podcast grows, the more doing things like this don't seem so crazy to me. And by this, I mean driving down the road at 7.40 in the morning, talking to myself. Um, which, you know, again, if you've listened to the others, you know that I don't really have any traffic, so I, I've passed zero people. Um, we're still going strong, so... So far, so good. Otherwise... I can't think of anything super noteworthy in the community. Maybe I'm missing something and I'm just crazy. But that's about it. Uh, life-wise, like I said, we're working on the nursery. Uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to getting it finished. We still have two pieces of furniture from Ikea to put together, so that'll probably be the highlight of putting the nursery together. Always love a good IKEA furniture assembly. Uh, nothing, nothing like checking a relationship status or strength. Uh, putting a, <laughs> a dresser from IKEA together. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're looking forward to that. Otherwise, I don't know. I mean, it's it's pretty chill Monday morning. I, you know, a lot of people hate Mondays. I love Mondays, I love my job, I love my commute, I love, I love getting back into the swing of things, I mean, I love the weekends, don't get me wrong, but, I love Mondays, I love, Mondays are all about, like, getting into the week and getting, you know, getting back to the grind for me, so, I actually love them, Tuesdays are my least favorite day of the week, um, I think that they are kind of the lull in between hump day and, Friday, and uh, just I'm just not a fan of Tuesdays. It seems like all the crap happens on Tuesdays, but I love Mondays. I love coming in and like making that first pot of coffee for the week, or that well, I don't make a pot, I have a Keurig, but making that first cup of coffee for the week and, and really just catching up on how everything did over the weekend. I mean, I, I don't share a whole lot about what I do, but. Um, not, not for any reason other than it's just, I think most people probably find it boring, but we had our, our traffic on the site is, is pretty much Monday through Friday. Weekends are pretty slow. I mean, there's still some traffic, but it's, it's really not, I mean, it's maybe a third of what we get on any given weekday or less sometimes, but, uh, for some, and I get email notifications anytime somebody like submits anything on the website, and normally I'll get one or two a weekend, not very many, um, again, those are mostly during the week, but this weekend my phone was, it seemed like it was just blowing up, so I'm, I'm interested to go back and see what, what drove traffic this weekend, and what, you know, I don't know, so that's, like I said, that's why I like coming in on Mondays, and, and I really do like this commute, and my job, I mean, it's all, it's all good, so I don't have anything to complain about. Other than whatever the heck this is in my eye that's, you know, making me lose my vision. Otherwise, life is good. Just chilling. I'm eating uh, another one of those H-E-B sausage croissants. Because, you know, they're delicious. But, uh, yeah, so, new Swiss Army knife, new knife from Ben, creeping up on 3,000 followers, nursery getting done, I mean, life is gravy. Oh, and these sweet sausage croissants. But, you guys will definitely have to comment and let me know if it sounds any better it sounds any different, if it sounds any worse, um, I think the microphone 
It's a it's a nicer microphone. It's on a shock mount, and it's mounted directly in front of you know my mouth, line of sight wise. Um, and I, I don't know. I just I I think it's just a better quality mic. So we'll see how that sounds, and then obviously after I record this, I go back and edit it on my phone, which I'm still doing, and I'll probably continue to do, because I've already got the the track laid out, I've got kind of a template, and I'll just save it as a new one, drop this audio file in, and then tweak the levels, it's going to be a little different this time, because it's a whole new mic, so we'll see how that goes, but um, yeah, uh, I, I, you guys will have to let me know how the audio quality is, if it's better, worse, not, I mean, if it's not different at all, then I feel stupid, because I wasted money, but, um, you know, this is actually, even though it's a better mic, and it's a slightly larger, I say slightly, it's significantly larger, um, it's still a small microphone, and it's, you know, I've got it right under my cluster on my dash, pointed at me, and that's still less annoying than the microphone I was using that I had clipped on my visor with a giant dead cat on it. And those that don't know what a dead cat is, it's, it's the, if you've ever seen the microphone on like a TV or movie production and it's, it's got the big fuzzy thing on it, not the black foam thing, but like it looks, I mean, it literally looks like a dead cat. That's why they call it that, I think. But, um, I had one on my tiny mic, and I have one for this one, but I don't, I don't, I'm not going to use it if this sounds okay, because again, it's really for wind noise, and I don't have any wind noise where it's at, at least I don't, I don't think I do, um, so we'll have to see, but I'm excited to step up the quality and do this a little more often. I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm not sure. You guys will have to let me know. Um, Oh, that's a tree branch. I've mentioned this before, but the one thing about my commute that I do have to watch out for, I don't pass a lot of traffic, but it kind of goes through the middle of nowhere. And so I have to watch out for wildlife, and usually that's deer, hogs, and gators. I don't see gators that often, and I'm past the area where... I would see a gator, so no worries there, but deer pop up everywhere, and they blend, especially this time of year, they blend in really, really well with the brush and stuff on the sides of the road, you know, they're, I don't know, they're kind of that grayish color, and, um, yeah, so you, you, you kind of, you know, you have to watch out for those. Hogs, I don't, I don't, I feel like I drive too late in the morning, and I mean, it's 7.50, uh, 7.45, but, you know, hogs are really out at, like, the wee hours of the morning, um, so I don't have to worry about those too much, fortunately, or unfortunately for the people that hit them, but fortunately, by the time I cross a hog, they're usually, they've been run over, so, you know, rest in peace, but, um, deer are, plus they're quick, and when they get spooked, they're kind of, sometimes they're smart, and sometimes they're really dumb, and they're like, you know, serpentine pattern, let me zigzag, and then ride alongside you for, you know, 100 feet, and am I going to go across the road, am I not, am I going to, am I, you know, and that's, that's obnoxious, um, I've had, uh, I've had a couple close, I haven't hit a deer yet, you know, knock on wood, but I've had some close calls, man, that, oof, that, that gets your heart racing for sure, But, fortunately, no deer so far today. Like most days. Again, usually pretty chill. But, you got to be vigilant when you're riding down these back roads. Hmm. And, um, now we're getting to the part of the commute where we pass over this creek. I've posted a picture of it on my feed before. Go back, scroll through, find it. If you find it, comment and say, hey, I found it. And I'll give you like a internet high five. But 
definitely is peaceful, and it means that I'm getting close to work, which is good, but always excited to see what is going to happen when I get in, you know, not that I have the most exciting job, it's not like I work in an emergency room or something, I pretty much work on the internet, you know, yeah, but... Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I'm working on a project for the podcast proper, not these little, you know, in-car episodes that I don't want to share a ton of details about yet because I, I want to make sure it's going to happen and I want to make sure it, it, it happens correctly. So just know that this is technically not season three still. I'm not going to call it season three yet. Um, that'll be in, in, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks. We'll jump back into season three with our new microphone set up. And hopefully April will jump in on a couple of them. And uh, we can get back to normal. And you guys don't have to just listen to me babble. But I'm working on a project. And I, I'm, I feel like I'm like 60% of the way there on it. Just in terms of solidifying is this going to happen and if it is then I'll, I'll bring you guys along for the ride and, and walk you through the, the, the process but um, until then <clears throat> I'm going to be looking to you guys for some hey what do you want to hear about what do you want to you know that kind of thing and I'm working I'm also working on I know I've mentioned this before but I actually started testing it the other day um I'm, I'm working on doing like a remote recording because there's some folks that have been super patient and I really want to have a conversation with 30 minutes, 45 minutes and, you know, just kind of shoot the breeze, talk about what they do, who they are, all that. And, uh, that's happening. I'm testing that. I, you know, I'm, again, I try to, you know, maximum quality, minimum, minimal cost, but, the free version of the software I'm using, it, it limits the audio quality. That being said, I've only recorded with, uh, so far with my AirPods, because I was, I was really testing out the mechanics of, like, you send somebody a link, and then they jump on, and it records. And so I've kind of got that all nailed down. I've just got to figure out the quality, and I know that most people aren't going to have, like, a microphone set up, so... There, there may be some episodes where I sound crystal clear and good and normal and the person I'm talking to doesn't. There might be some episodes where neither of us do. Or there might, you know, if I... I know a couple of the people that I have lined up actually have microphone setups. So if they can jump on and use those, then hopefully we'll both sound good. But I don't know. That's neither here nor there just yet. But if you guys have ideas, stuff you want to hear about... Uh, definitely share them. I, I've gotten some decent feedback on doing these episodes, and anytime I, I pose a question, I usually get some good responses uh, for what to talk about or, or what you guys want to hear about. So continue to, to send that stuff my way. Um, you know, if there's anything you want to hear about, anybody you want me to talk to, any makers you think I should check out. Uh, I'm always open for, for that kind of feedback and, and that kind of suggestion, so definitely send them my way. I'm hoping to do a lot more with the podcast this year. I, I've got a new host, and I'm able to see some analytics, and you know, the more people listening, obviously, uh, sponsorships and stuff like that are a thing, and uh, the goal for that is to, again, continue to improve the quality and, and let me focus on it a little more, and so far that's going well. I mean, like I said, we've got a season-long sponsor uh, for the show, so that's awesome. And then, you know, more exciting things coming. Uh, you know, I I think the phrase is down the pike, but I always say down the pipe. I don't I don't know. I've got some exciting things in the pipeline coming down the pike. I don't know if you guys know that phrase. Tell me because I feel like an idiot for not, not knowing for sure. But that being said, I am pulling into work. I'm going to go get to it. Uh, as always, thank you guys again for the continued support. Be sure to 
like, rate, thumbs up, comment, review uh, the podcast, share it with your friends, let's grow this thing a little bit, Uh, leave a review, all of that stuff, and uh, I'm here, and I will talk to you guys in the next one, peace!